Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The glorious Quran, a book of mercy for the worlds. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, we send down the Quran as healing and mercy to those who believe. And said, this is a blessed scripture, which we have sent down, follow it and be conscious of your Lord, so that you may receive mercy. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household companions and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. The Quran is the firm means to bring us close to Allah. It is the best admonish, the light and the straight path that may not be distor distorted and that will be kept free from falsehood. Scholars will not cease to discover its marvelousness. It will never be outdated, and none can comprehend all its wisdom. Whoever speaks according to its verses will be truthful. Whoever acts according to its guidance will be rewarded. Whoever judges according to its provisions will be just, and whoever calls to it will be guided to a straight path. The Almighty Allah says, that this is truly a noble Quran and a protected record that only the purified can touch. It is sent down from the Lord of all being. Allah also said it is an unassailable scripture which falsehood cannot touch from any angle. A revelation sent down from the wise one worthy of all praise. The glorious Quran is a book of mercy for the worlds, as the Almighty Allah says, O people, a teaching from your Lord has come to you, a healing for what is in your hearts, and guidance and mercy for the believers. Say, Prophet, in Allah's grace and mercy, let them rejoice. These are better than all they accumulate. Allah also said, Mercy and good news to those who devote themselves to Allah. In another verse, Allah said, We have brought people a scripture. We have explained it on the basis of true knowledge as guidance and mercy for those who believe. The word mercy and its derivatives are mentioned more than 200 times in the Quran. The glorious Quran states that mercy is one of the attributes of Allah. Allah says, My mercy encompasses all things. Allah also says, Your Lord is self-sufficient and full of mercy. Allah also says, Your Lord has taken it to Himself to be merciful. When contemplating the glorious Quran, one realizes the greatness of the mercy of Allah, the Almighty. Allah has created the day and the night as mercy for all His creatures, so that they may rest all night and work by the day to get sustenance and to develop the universe. Allah also sends down rain as mercy for the worlds. As the Almighty Allah says in His mercy, He has given you night and day, so that you may rest and seek His bounty and be grateful. Allah also said, It is Allah who sends the winds, bearing good news of His coming grace. And when they have gathered up, the heavy clouds would drive them to a dead land where we cause rain to fall, bringing out all kinds of crops just as we shall bring out the dead. Will you not reflect? The glorious Quran states that Allah has sent down messengers and revealed scriptures as mercy to the worlds. As he glory be to him said, you would say if only the scripture had been sent down to us we would have been better guided than them. Now clear evidence, guidance, and mercy have come to you from your Lord. Allah addressed his prophet Muhammad saying, We have not sent you except as mercy for the worlds. Allah also said, A messenger has come to you from among yourselves, your suffering distress distresses him he is deeply concerned for you and full of kindness and mercy towards the believers in the quran the almighty allah calls people to have hope in his mercy and forgiveness showing that his mercy is near to the righteous people as he said 
O my servants, who have harmed them yourselves by your own excess, do not despair of Allah's mercy. Allah forgives all sins. He is truly the most forgiving, the most merciful. Allah also said, the mercy of Allah is close to those who do good. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his family, companions, and whoever follows their guidance to the day of judgment. It goes without saying that a true believer is the one who adopts the morals of the glorious Quran which Allah has sent down in mercy to the whole world, and follows the manners of the Prophet, peace be upon him, who was sent by Allah as mercy for mankind. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The compassionate one, Allah, has mercy on those who are merciful. If you show mercy to those who are on the earth, he who is in the heaven will show mercy to you. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, Allah divided mercy into 100 parts. He kept 99 parts with him and sent down one part to the earth. And because of that, one single part, his creations are merciful to each other, so that even the female horse lifts up its hoofs away from its baby animal, lest it should trample on it. It is reported that once a camel saw the Prophet, peace be upon him, and it wept tenderly, producing yearning sound, and it, its eyes flowed. The Prophet, peace be upon him, came to it and wiped the temple of its head, so it kept silent. He then said, Who is the master of this camel? Whose camel is this? A young man from the Ansar came and said, This is mine. He, peace be upon him, said, Do you not fear Allah about this beast which Allah has given in your possession? It has complained to me that you keep it hungry and load it heavily, which fatigues it. How much the whole humanity needs to follow the manners of the glorious Quran, the book of mercy and peace. We wish to conclude our speech with two pieces of advice. The first is to the people of the Quran and the other to all wise people of the world. We say to the people of the Quran, beautify the Quran with your nice voice and let the whole world listen to it. O oh, the people of the Quran, perfect your good manners by following the morals of the Quran. Let your response to the ignorant who deny the status of the book of your Lord by showing more care for the glorious Quran in terms of its recitation, study, understanding, application, and action. O oh, our Lord, we ask you to ward off all those who want to harm your book. O oh, Allah, make their plots revert against them and let us see your power over them. We say to all the wise people of the world that the world cannot witness religious wars in addition to the already running wars. So take the initiative to renounce all kinds of religious hatred before it is too late. As extremism leads to counter-extremism, it is too bad to allow the fool to feed all feelings of religious hatred and destroy coexistence. There is no doubt that all enthusiastic Muslims are harmed by any abuse against their prophet or the book of their Lord. No matter how the wise people attain patience, time may come when they lose such patience, and the whole matter may turn into destructive troubles. O oh Allah, bless us with the glorious Qur'an.